All right, folks, it is Tuesday, which means it's time for opening this week, brought to you by our good friends over at AMC Theaters. Three major films opening this week, and we're going to talk about two of them today. So what do we got going on, Ashley? First up is Hitman Agent 47, genetically engineered from conception to be the perfect killing machine. He's the culmination of decades of research endowed with unprecedented strength, speed, stamina, and intelligence. Known only as Agent 47, Rupert Friend, his latest target is a corporation that plans to unlock the secret of his past to create an army of killers even more powerful than him. With help from a young woman, the elite assassin confronts revelations about his own origins in an an epic battle with his deadliest foe. Next is Sinister 2. The follow-up to Eth the Ethan Hawke 2012 film finds the deputy still haunted by the events of the first Sinister and on a personal quest to prevent Bagul from destroying more families. The deputy then comes across a woman played by Shannon Sosaman and her nine-year-old twin sons who have encountered the evil spirit Bagul in a rural house that's marked for death. John, which of these films are you looking forward to? Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to them both. Now, I haven't seen Agent 47 yet, and in case you missed it, uh, last week, uh, Hannah Ware, the star of Agent 47, the female lead in the film, was in studio here with us to talk about the movie. I'm looking forward to it. This is one of the first, this is the first video game movie in a long time that I've been looking at and going, this could be our first really good one. This this could be a really good one and a lot of fun. Now, we know that the, the action scenes in this movie are directed by the two dudes who directed uh, John Wick, which gives me a, a, a lot of hope. They've already, you know, Fox isn't hiding this movie. They've already been showing it to some audiences. <laughs> a bunch of us in the room, uh, we're actually gonna go to Fox Studios and watch the film tonight, which we're really excited about. So I'm looking forward to this a lot. I have seen Sinister 2, and I liked it. I, I did. I talked to one other person who saw it, and they didn't quite like it. I did. It's a very small film. It picks up where the last one left off, but it doesn't go, try to repeat everything they did in the first one. Instead, they move the story forward. It's one of these small, low-budget films that I have a really soft spot in my heart for, and I like the way it's done. Speaking of which, the star of the film, Shannon Soseman, mm -hmm. and the director of the film were actually in the studio here with us as well. Uh, last week, and I enjoyed the film, and I think you will too. If you're not going in for a multi-million dollar huge visual effects thing, but Bagul was creepy, the little children ghosts are creepy, the kill videos are taken up a notch from the first film, I think it's an enjoyable one. So I personally, I, I'm looking forward to both. Uh, starting with Hitman Agent 47, you know, every time I walk into a video game movie screening, whether it be the Resident Evil franchise or a Tomb Raider movie or a Final Fantasy, I wonder, can this be the greatest video game movie of all time and unseat the champion, Mortal, Mortal Kombat? Kombat. <laughs> Will it do it on the 20th anniversary? Today is the 20th anniversary of Mortal Kombat wow. being released. We'll be talking about that theaters. tomorrow, I'm sure. Oh my God, what a great film. And I think Hitman might have the right stuff to do it. If the trailers look cool, it looks like it's trying to be what it should be. It's not overly ambitious. This is going to be a neat action revenge movie with a science fiction twist on it because he has been engineered to be this Hitman. So, yeah, I can get into a movie like that. As far as Sinister 2, I love the first Sinister. I was a huge fan of it. This next one looks cool primarily because there's twins involved. And anytime you get twins involved in a horror movie, you know one twin is going to be pit against the other twin. Let's see who survives. Uh, as far as Bagul goes, he's the one guy in Sinister that I'm just like, he just doesn't scare me in the same way that like that Darth Maul dude in Insidious comes up and really <laughs> took Darth the threat Maul, into you. Dude. Bagul, if you look at a picture of Bagul, he just looks like the crow's unsuccessful brother who, <laughs> who never made anything of himself. And it doesn't, it, it, that didn't scare me. At the end of Sinister, I was a little bit let down by the last third of Sinister because I didn't get that extra scare I wanted. So hopefully this movie improves upon that. Yeah, I agree with you. I think uh, he's one of the guys who didn't make it into Slipknot. That's just, <laughs> that's just, it was like, you can't be a Slipknot, but we got this movie for you, Bagul. That's actually his real name. All right, it'll be in this. But, but I uh, play guitar. Uh, Dad, just leave the key card, you know, the guitar out. Um, <clears throat> you know, Sinister was really scary, I thought, for the first, like, two-thirds of it. Mm -hmm. And once the little kids came in with a little, like, that stuff, it yeah. lost me. But I'm looking forward to seeing the sequel. And, and like you said, they, they don't have to introduce all that stuff, yeah. so they just get right into it. So I am looking forward to Sinister 2. I'm definitely looking forward to Hitman. Like I've said before on the show, I've played every incarnation of the Hitman game. And the last one, all the way through to the end, I actually made it to the end and beat the game. Hey, you know, I beat the game, right? <laughs> hey, claps for myself. Um, but yeah, so this Hitman... 
Hitman video game adaptation, I'm really looking forward to because I didn't like the first Hitman. This is the second time, so this is a second reboot, and I hope they do a Punisher war zone on this. Not budget, box office-wise, Punisher Warzone didn't do it, but I thought they did it right. They got the character right, uh, Frank Castle, in the second Punisher yeah, I like movie. The second one. So hopefully they do that with this, and everything from the trailers that I've seen, I'm excited to see the film, so I'm really looking forward to it. It was, it was the third Punisher movie. Dolph Lundgren played the Punisher yes, in 1989. the first time. Oh, you're right. Duh. I, I always discount on. that one. You yeah. cannot make these mistakes I know. on Thursday. I, I've always I wanted so a bad. shared universe movie with Dolph Lundgren's Punisher and David Hasselhoff's uh, Nick Fury. Wow. <laughs> that would be would've, amazing. That would have been an amazing That would film. be incredible. They should still, you can still make it today. And, and Lou Ferrigno. Lou Ferrigno as a Hulk. <laughs> Lou Ferrigno as Hulk. And uh, what's his name? Hammond as Spider-Man. Just get all those TV guys. I'll throw them together, man. Perfect.